Dave. Dave. Nice to meet you one more time in Tucson. Yes, wonderful. And I understand you have fine minerals with your own room now. Is that true? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I have an entire room on my own. Yes. Uh, to have more uh, space to yeah. show more specimens. Yes. First, <clears throat> I would like to to point that we uh, shown that specimen on the Watsot in Munich uh, recently few months ago and uh, fortunately that uh, flu green fluorite uh, from Le Bex, uh, Puy de Dome, France, uh, found a new home, a new collection in France, so oh. it stays in his country, Very which good. is good. Okay. But uh, I have here an inventory of other uh, fluorite from the Paul Zerfas collection. Paul mm. uh, is, a, is still a collector uh, um, from Clermont-Ferrand area. Mm -hmm. That means uh, middle of the Massif Central, and he is well known for his fluorite collection. Oh, and we good. have some examples, like that fluorite that he self-collected oh, okay. in Valzergue, oh, Aveyron. What a beautiful color. And beautiful you can color. see some very the strange zone. color zonation. Yes, uh, very much so. Yeah, it's zoned right in up through yeah. here. Yeah, I love that color. A and I can show you you have some deep purple uh, uh, stripes. Yes. And one in the middle is green. Uh, oh, can you okay. see it? Can't see the green. Yeah, can't see the green. But I'll just take in this away. axis, it's difficult to, to get it, but in the middle, you can see time to time a, a green, uh, deep green uh, stripe. Okay. I have here. A very fine spessartine from oh, Galilea, oh, from lovely. Brazil. Oh, very much. Jemmy so. on matrix freestanding, which is not that usual because right. uh, most uh, mostly the crystals are um, uh, floaters in, yes. in that mine. Oh, this is magnificent. Rather unusual. This is a demantoid okay. from uh, Kunduz area, Afghanistan, found uh, maybe 15 years ago. We have not many more uh, information about that. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a strange uh, little uh, blue in in the middle of the green. Okay. So my friends from the National Museum of Paris made some analysis because they were. Uh, uh, they were uh, interested to know what was uh, what is the reason of the of that blue shade. Uh, yes, and this is a pure demantoid uh, uh, pole. This is ninety nine percent demantoid, which is n not that usual. Finally, interesting. A French classic old timer. <coughs> this is Arsenic. Uh, Arsenio Siderite mm -hmm. on Romaneshite from uh, Romanesh Torrens, so the type locality of Romaneshite mm -hmm. and the type locality of Arsenio Siderite. Nice. And, and finally, in history, there is still no other uh, very good uh, locality for Arsenio Siderite. Mm -hmm. um, in, in that mine, you, you, this was a manganese mine which is now uh, beneath the uh, wine yards of uh, Beaujolais. Uh, Roman Estorens is uh, very well known for Beaujolais. Yeah. This is a sanidine, so a feldspar uh, from uh, volcanic rocks. Mm, a twin. A twin like that. Look at that. We have a very <laughs> famous... It looks like a piece of concrete. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Cement. And what is the material? Is it fluorine? Uh, sanidine. Sanidine is a feldspar uh, oh, okay. from volcanic it's rocks. Okay. It's an orthoclase, I, I think. Never seen anything quite like that. A little funny thing. This is uh, from Mfouati in Congo, in uh, Congo Brazzaville, former French Congo. Mm -hmm. um, this is a descloisite, a stalactite. Very unusual. Found in uh, 19. Uh, 54. Okay. With some Very uh, unusual. some vulfenite coated by uh, by quartz. How about yeah? It sure is. 
Yeah, you can, it's all coated mm -hmm. with quartz crystals. Now, is this the same? Same, say, same yeah, mine, can, yes. Same mine. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Okay. And that one is a, a recent find uh, three years ago, let's okay. say, more or less. And this is really like um, the, the dream of an urchin, of course. Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. Mean. Just all the way around. Yeah. Razor sharp, glassy. No damages, no which damage. is very difficult to get. Yes. No. Quite unusual. This is a gypsum uh, crystal spray on a branch. That's amazing. This uh, is coming from the uh, Asal Lake in the uh, uh, Re Republic of Djibouti, so oh. the e northeast of Africa. Okay. Uh, it was found in 1978, so you know that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, time to time um, there is some crystallization. It depends on the amount of salt uh, in the yeah. water because uh, that lake is under the sea level um, and completely uh, blocked. There is no exit of the water um, by a volcanic uh, area and uh, okay. very, very active sometimes. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. I uh, love what we call the oddity type mineral specimens that are associated with a, an organic matter. Yeah, like yeah, that. because yeah. you will see. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's still uh, bendable. Exactly. A very, very big baby from uh, Panaskera, uh, famous uh, right. tin and Wolfram uh, tung tungsten uh, mine mm -hmm. in Portugal. That's right. <coughs> and that nice uh, quartz crystal. Um, has some very, very fine uh, green appetite That's with right. some color zoning inside. That's right. And s mostly elongated crystal, yeah. which are less That's usual. Scarce. Very yeah. scarce. No, it's very a wonderful thing, very mm. uh, aesthetic. Mm. And that big single, well, it's each, actually twinning up there on the top of the quartz in there. No, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, these are huge siderite crystals. Now, where's that from? I can't. This is from Saint Pierre de Mésage. Uh, Saint Pierre de Mésage is just uh, close to Grenoble, uh, so uh, in the North uh, French Alps. Okay. And this is the only one uh, uh, small mine working for minerals uh, specimen in France right now. Would you believe Grégoire de that? Modina uh, used to dig there. Okay. And uh, time to time he hit a pocket of very good uh, quality siderite oh, with some quartz. Yeah, a little quartz on it. Too. It looks like the very old famous uh, Lataya in Alvar, uh, well known in the 19th century, and many museums in the world have I those see. siderite. Yes. And it's almost almost the same, but there is, uh, I think, 40 kilometers in between. This is yellow balls of aragonite on a uh, oh. layer of uh, white calcite. Okay. This is newly formed uh, in uh, on the walls of some uh, old silver mines in Vosges uh, mountains, okay. so northeast of France. Okay. And this is La Croix aux Mines, which is uh, 20 kilometers from Saint Marie aux Mines. That pink one, yes, found recently in a manganese uh, mine in the Pyrenees on the French side, and it was on the floor. Oh. And there is small amount of uh, cobalt. Uh, in the manganese ore, and uh, th when uh, there is some dripping, because this is like a stalagmite, it's yes, a new, it newly formed, it, uh, it gives a, a pink color uh, to, to the calcite. This, this is calcite. Beautiful and very unusual. Yeah, very unusual. Very good. Dave. Congratulations. It's always Thanks. a pleasure. Thank you.